bond for a murder suspect. Tonight, the family of Mary Collins tells WBTV they feel like the court system failed them. Jamie, this past weekend, WBTV first learned one of the suspects charged with Collins' murder has been released from jail. We first told you in January a judge granted a $250,000 bond on the murder charge to James Salerno. All new now at 6, our Brandon Hamilton is talking with Mary Collins' family about this latest development. He's live in Noda, where Mary was killed, Brandon. How is her family doing tonight? Molly, they are angry. In fact, Mary's grandmother tells me they were quite emotional learning that James Solarno had bonded out of jail. She is talking with us tonight so that you and I do not forget Mary's name. Now, I do want to warn you, the details you're about to hear about Mary's murder are graphic. Revulsion. I, mean, I can't think of a better word. Strong words from this grandmother about North Carolina's court system. Hours after finding out this man, James Solarno, was released from jail on bond. I was just enraged. Solarno is one of four people accused in the March 2020 murder of Mia Alderman's granddaughter, Mary Collins. The 20 year old was found at a Noda apartment days after she was reported missing. And these people need to be held accountable for what they've done because you can just stab somebody over 133 times, bash their head in, force drugs down her throat and do other unspeakable things to her, kill her and take her and wrap her in plastic, hide her in a mattress and take her from us. Solarno has pled not guilty to charges of murder, kidnapping and concealing a death. Alderman says silence is not an option. She says she feels because Mary had a disability. People have forgotten about her. Mary matters just like every other human being that has been murdered in the city of Charlotte. Now her mission, pushing so that if someone is charged with murder, there is no bond. If you have enough evidence to jail somebody, arrest them and put them in jail and have them await a sentence or a trial for first degree murder, then they shouldn't be out walking the street where they can hurt somebody else. And uh, Molly, Jamie, since that April 2020 uh, death, Mary's family has been pushing for that change. Mia tells me that she is planning to go to Raleigh to help push and make change in North Carolina when it comes to an alert system for people with disabilities who are missing. Now, late this evening, we also learned from the court that there are no conditions on that bond, which again, Solano was released just this weekend. Reporter live in Noda, Brandon Hamilton, WBTV on your side. It was good to hear from Mary's family, Brandon. Thank you. And